Hey everybody, this is Shantavia from Shantavia.com and I wanted to hop on today to say congratulations to Joanne Reed and to explain why I think what's happening with her today is a win for smart black girls. So if you don't know who Joanne Reed is, she's written three books. She's a dynamic journalist, she's a speaker, she's a writer, she's a professor at Syracuse University and tonight she's making her debut as the first black woman to host a primetime talk show on a major news network and the reason this is such a huge win for smart black girls is because historically especially on television we only get opportunities and we're only successful when we're loud when we uh, fall in line with all these ridiculous stereotypes of black women why um, you know, like we just hardly ever really see these kinds of opportunities for smart black girls. The people who are lauded in the media and on social media are people who are well known for other things, for entertaining people in one way or, the, or another, not the smart black girl. And so I'm just so excited for her personally, but also what this means for smart black girls. Because before her, you know, there really weren't that many smart black girls on television. There was Oprah, there was Gwen Eiffel, there was... Cameron Hall on a couple different shows in the news, but we really don't see that many smart black girls. So I'm excited to see her obviously on the news hosting her show every day. Um, the other thing I'm excited about is just what this means for other smart black girls who are on the grind right now, who are hustling, who want to be entrepreneurs, who want to be content creators. So I was reading this article about Joy Ann Reed earlier today and she created a vision board 15 years ago and on her vision board 15 years ago she said she wanted to write a best-selling book and she wanted to be invited on hardball with chris matthews and now she's replacing him she's taking his slot at 7 p.m with her new show which will be called read out and this is just incredible to me right i've heard oprah say before that god can dream a bigger dream for you than you can dream for yourself and joy ann reed's story is just the quintessential example of that right like her dream was to write one book and to be a guest on a show and she now has written three books the most recent book was a new york times bestseller i'm not sure about the first two but i know they were also very successful uh also she wanted to be a host on a show that she now, or she wanted to be invited on a show that she now was going to be the host of, and not just the host, but breaking barriers doing this. And this is a woman who has been on the grind for so many years, hosting radio shows. She hosts two podcasts now. She's got AM Joy on MSNBC, or had AM Joy on MSNBC, which I think she's gonna be leaving for this show. And so she's just done amazing, incredible things. And it is inspiring to me. It is inspiring to see somebody who's taken all the apparent right steps, going to college, taking you know the jobs that will get her to different places in her career, not without having a few missteps, but being a wife, being a mother, being a person who has all this intelligence. Getting this kind of opportunity is motivational for me. I hope it's motivational for you too. So I wish I could tune in live tonight at 7 p.m. I actually will be teaching the Brandon Business Academy week three or four, I think is this week. Week three is this week, but I definitely will catch it on the replay. I hope all of you are watching. Set your DVRs, make sure you tweet about the show, you post about the show, because we want this sister to be successful, not just for herself, for herself too, but for smart black girls. There shouldn't just be one black woman with her own primetime news show on cable news. There should be many, right? And I hope that this is inspiring lots of people to continue to create, to continue to do that thing they love. So if you like this video, make sure you click like below. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe because I'll be doing this every day. I'm doing this new series called The Made Series and I'm doing it because I want to make a difference every day. I want to provide positive news. I want to provide positive commentary in a world that seems to be on fire right now. So make sure you hit like below. Drop a comment if you have other things you want to hear. Make sure you let me know those things too. Thanks.